Everybody loves to be independent. Until one day we wake up sitting somewhere with no solace, silent in our own solitude, life wearing on us, wearing them to pin diapers with nobody you can depend on. Because for our whole lives, we've been trying to use our thoughts as a pen and put a dent in these dreams. We indent from where God's lines have been drawn. That's we try to start our own stories. Just keep the lint out our pockets. While we pinning out our futures, hoping that everything pans out. We all got plans and goals still pending. So truthfully, it just really depends. But no matter how many pendants you can place around your neck, you got to be thinking about being a pendant light hanging from the ceiling of heaven because there is an impending doom waiting for all of us who are trying to shine in this life while depending on ourselves. We got to truly learn what it means to depend on God. Because when that situation got you pinned down and you feel pent up, Believing in yourself or nobody else ain't going to get you out that pen. So when you in the pen, you better let go of your independence. Hint, hint. If you want to reach your pinnacle, then you got to let go of being Mr. or Mrs. Independent and live in God's providence. Forget your self-confidence. You got to shelf confidence and start thriving off humility until the spirit of God begins to humiliate your pride. So much so that he begins to mutilate and mutate your self-esteem into a new form and you are reborn into a mold that doesn't fit into this world's norms. What I'm telling you is to let go of who you thought you were. Leave yourself to be yourself. Stop making empty promises to yourself, through yourself, trying to outdo yourself. And start letting Jesus remove yourself so that he can use yourself. What I'm telling you is to stop blaming this world for everything that you aren't or that you don't have. Because God didn't want you to have that or be that. You failed because God wanted to fill you up. He wanted you to fail so that you can feel his presence. Did you learn that lesson? Or on second thought, are you still second guessing God by still believing in yourself? His test of love is that he's trying to teach us to pass on loving ourselves. Because love isn't something that you can brew yourself through yourself when you feel by yourself. That's why he made a world full of seven billion people. And he said, love all of them more than you love yourself. Because what most of us don't realize is that even self-hatred only comes from focusing too much on yourself. Don't keep your love to yourself because your love ain't for yourself. Love is something that he's trying to build up within us so that we can pass it on to somebody else. None of us could ever truly manufacture real love within ourselves. That's why babies are born so selfish, because they don't know how to love anybody but themselves. What this tells is that we are born innately, instinctively, very naturally, already knowing how to focus on and care about ourselves. And what God wants us to learn it's how to love beyond ourselves. Because ever since we was little kids, we needed somebody to pour love in us in order to learn how to give it. And if we did it, we resent it. That's hatred. Hopefully we've grown up and repented for not seeing that this broken world has built us some broken parents. Because we all have been broken from God. That chain has been broken that links us all to him so that he can break these chains of faulty communication. That's the devil's line. He's lying to you saying nobody loves you. Teaching you that you better learn how to love yourself. You better depend on yourself. But even when the people who's supposed to love you don't call you. They don't know how to check on you. Sometimes it's only because they need to check up. They're hurting just like you. But they don't know how to reach out. That's why Jesus reached out and said he loved us first. Because he sees that we're hurt. And every day that we wake up and say that we believe in and love ourselves, we say, I don't need you, God. We hang up on him, even though he hung for us. All the while, all he's been trying to teach us is to always be willing to be the one who reaches out. Even when you feel like somebody doesn't love you or maybe not even like you, God is only trying to teach you how to pour love out, even if things don't necessarily work out. You don't have to learn how to love yourself or depend on yourself because once you learn how to place all of your focus on God,
then he will always send someone to place his love for you through. Because he already knew that his children would always need to feel like they are worth it in the eyes of someone else outside of yourself. He already knows that sometimes you still going to get beside yourself, even though you can't even stand beside yourself. He still want to be at your side, inside, even though he knows that you got pride inside yourself. So instead of acting like you can help yourself, you got it yourself. Even though we don't need specific people, you still got to come out of yourself to truly understand that you will always need somebody outside of yourself. But we can make ourselves believe in the devil's make-believe story that we have to learn to depend on and love ourselves. When all we really ever had to do was just learn to love God with all of our hearts until we can learn to see past ourselves. Because only his love can feel all of these holes that we're feeling. Don't depend on you because only he can put the pins in these holes like feelings. Only he can fill in where other people let us down and made us feel like we need to fill up ourselves. So if you in your feelings, are you somewhere feeling yourself? Stop making up excuses and excuse yourself. Especially if you somebody out here using God to believe in yourself. Because he said that many will do works in his name. But when he come back, he's still going to look at you like you somebody else. Depend on him. Don't get lost in admiring your own pinup. Kneel down and lose yourself. Sometimes I feel like I'm just walking on pins and needles. That's why I stay prayed up. Every time I feel a nail or I fail, I just yell, oh, Father, I need you. And then he say, you didn't fail. You just fail. And now I got you right where I wanted you. I had pins in my hands like needles. They drug me. But I let them kill me because I wanted to place my life inside of you. So hold up. I got them hoes for you. And so I'm just writing this letter for everybody in this world who got hoes like me. For every friend that's locked in the pen, for everybody pitching their pennies, for all of my loved ones that's ready to retire. I know you tired, waiting for that pension. And I pray that even when this life starts feeling like prison and we feel imprisoned inside of our own minds, that we always remember that he has risen. Listen to my sentences. We don't ever have to spend time or do life depending on our own strength. Just let God love on every cell in your body until you begin to excel in helping your friends break free from all of the bondage of this life. None of us know what's best for our own lives. That's why we got to pin our knees to the floor and our heads to the pillows, our hands to the plow. Stop with the independence and place the pen back in God's hands because he's already written out our lives. Even though us women and men think that we got good enough penmanship to man our own ships. Stop letting it sink into your head that we can believe in ourselves. That's why you ain't got no wins in your sails. And if we out here winning while we sinning, then you better stop playing and start praying that you are forgiven. I don't care how you living. Jesus already forgave you. All you got to do is make that decision. He already paid for our sins. We don't got to pay him. We just got to pay him attention. He wrote us this love letter because he already knew that some of us would feel trapped. We got loved ones still over there in the trap. Somebody got to let them know that Jesus is coming back. I know somebody watching this. Been living feeling like you got pins in your back. I know you trying to be strong and stand on your own. But let me tell you, my pen pal. Jesus wrote to you because he wanted you to know that if you just believe in him, depend on him, put all of your love and trust in him. Soon, very soon, you're going to be on your way home. 
And I'm not saying listen to me. I'm just telling you that that feeling that you've been feeling for your whole life is because deep down your heart knows that this is not your home. And no matter what you do, nothing or no one down here is ever going to fill you up. Give it up. Give up on yourself. And give your life to God. I love y'all from here to heaven, man.